Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Cantina, where today we're going to be having a look at a curated sampling of the new Spin Master Batman, the Caped Crusader line of 4 inch scale action figures, accessories and vehicles. I am so excited about this line. Uh, it takes a lot to get me pumped for toy lines these days. There's not a whole lot out there, as you guys know. Um, but if you like like toys, like classic toys, the way that toys were done uh, in the 80s and 90s in the four inch scale, and uh, something that has been flourished like right from the launch of the line, then I think you're gonna appreciate these the way that I am appreciating them. Now, first things first, you might be thinking it's weird that I'm doing a toy review when previously I said that I wasn't going to be focusing on toy reviews anymore. The whole COPPA thing um, that came down last year, there was a lot of uncertainty at that time. There still kind of is a little bit of uncertainty, but the way YouTube has portrayed it uh, in more recent months uh, and clarified, it seems like it's not going to be quite as big a deal as we initially feared that it was. So a lot of people that uh, said they were going to stop doing toy reviews are still doing them. Um, so, I mean, it seems like it's business as usual for the most part. So. That doesn't mean I am going to be here doing toy reviews all the time because that is not true. Um, I am going to be focusing on toys that I am passionate about, that I'm interested in looking at, um, toys that grasp my attention and uh, remind me of what I grew up with. I'm also gonna be focusing a little bit more on stuff that I did grow up with uh, from the 80s and 90s and uh, talking about those toy lines a little more in depth because there's a lot of great stuff out there, guys, from the last you know 30 or so years. So you're not gonna see a lot of videos from me, uh, that's true, but periodically there will be some here and there um, for that'll be reviews for new toys and uh, also focusing on stuff from the past. But I'm not here to constantly be focusing on the latest, greatest new toy, you know, trying to get the first review up there. That's not what I'm doing anymore. I never really actually did that a whole lot. Anyway, so let's see where things go. I'm excited about the new direction and there's gonna be other stuff coming. I'm not really ready to reveal yet, but there will be other stuff coming in terms of videos uh, on the channel that will be toy related, but not necessarily dealing with toys, if that makes any sense. Anyway, let's take a look here. All right, guys, so I have a smattering of the four inch figures here that are available in the Cape Crusader line. Uh, and then the DC line is called Heroes Unite, as you can see over there. So that's kind of a separate assortment, but it's still all in the whole, you know, DC realm of things. So, so basically with these single pack figures, you get uh, like a little Batman. These are four inch scale, like I mentioned. Uh, this particular one is exclusively available at Target. And as you can see, he has the black suit. Uh, there are quite a few different variations of Batman in different looking outfits. I actually do have the gray and black suited one that I did already open up uh, a few weeks back. So that one is uh, basically the same thing you get here. They're, they're all the same, just different uh, colors for the most part. I think the tactical might be a little bit of a kit bash or a little bit different. Uh, but you can see here that it has the Target sticker. It's got Mr. Accessories, so it's got a little bit of a surprise. And the very classic Batman symbol that became um, quite famous in 1989 with uh, that film. Uh, and it does say first edition. Most of these that I've seen, if not all of them, all say first edition. So I guess that's just the first batch of these figures that have been run. Uh, you can kind of see the Gotham City skyline right there. And uh, it's pretty simplistic. It does say Creature Chaos right there. And uh, you can see the figure there. And uh, lots of gibberish, lots of stuff that yeah, I, I don't even think I can read most of that stuff. Uh, and then there is the bottom right there. You can hear some of the goodies in there. And it's essentially the same thing with all of these figures. Like here I have Joker. Uh, I kind of felt like if I was going to do this video that Joker was sort of an essential. So uh, I went ahead and picked him up as well. It still says Creature Chaos. I got Killer Croc. This was actually the very first figure I picked up from this line. And i uh, just been waiting for the right opportunity to open it. And I'm glad I didn't because now I can do that in this video right here. Target also has an exclusive King Shark figure, and um, it's a little bit different from the other one we're gonna look at in this video. Uh, the head is actually what's different here, so pretty cool. Uh, I think this reminds me and a lot of people a good bit of Street Sharks, if you're old enough to remember those. And then we have Superman. These I've only seen at Target. I don't think they're exclusive there, but uh, that's the only place that I've seen them so far. So it's essentially the same thing as the other figures I've shown you, but uh, it's a separate like assortment of figures, more DC oriented and just, or I guess I should say just not Batman, really. There are also some like rare quote unquote chase figures uh, like this one right here, or maybe this is the only one at this time, but it's a gold Batman and uh, it's not quite as common. I, I don't know exactly how rare it is. I've seen it a few times between Walmart and Target. 
Uh, I went ahead and picked it up because I just thought it was wacky. You know, Gold Batman reminded me a bit of uh, the Dark Knight collection uh, and Batman Returns lines back from, you know, the early 90s when, when I was growing up. So, uh, yeah, I thought I would pick it up. I'm not going to open it for this review, but I thought it was just fun to have. We'll also be taking a look at this King Shark Mega Gear set. Uh, I got this one at Target. And uh, you can see it has a King Shark figure with a different head, and then it has like a mech suit of some sort. <laughs> it's just pretty crazy. It's Mega Gear is what they're calling it. And uh, yeah, it transforms. Here's the back, and that's what it looks like when he's wearing his outfit. And yeah, just some really wild stuff. But you know what? Sometimes the weirdest, wildest, craziest stuff is the most fun and the most memorable. So I'm excited to take a look at this. This also says first edition on it. And then you guys know, no Batman action figure toy line is complete without a Batmobile. And for this particular toy line, Spin Master has created this two-in-one version of the Batmobile that combines a smaller vehicle inside the larger Batmobile. The packaging is very open. Um, it, it, I'm a little worried about that because you know it can get scuffed at the store or you know who knows. So I don't love that, but uh, it, it, it is inexpensive for them, of course. The back of the box has a couple of dudes playing with the Batmobile. It says launch the vehicle, it says that it fits four inch figures, and it shows you right there how you can eject the vehicle. So I'm not quite sure if uh, that's supposed to be like a boat or if it's supposed to be like a plane. I'm guessing it's a plane, but maybe it's a boat. Uh, maybe I'll have a better idea when I open it up. The box doesn't actually say, so I'm not entirely sure. All right, so I want to show you guys what these are like when you open them up because they're actually pretty fun. So I'm going to go ahead and get this removed. Uh, right here you have your Batman figure, just like that. You can see that he's tied in with some strings, so I'm going to need to go get my scissors and cut that out before I do that. Um, you also have like this little cardboard area right here, this little locker area. And in there, you will find that there is like a little card that you can cut out and it shows Batman fighting with King Shark. Uh, and it even says collectible trading card right there. Then we have this little locker area. So it basically looks like a you know, little lockers in Batman's cave or something. So um, you open each of them up and then, uh, I think that's sticking out from the other locker. Uh, this is like a little piece of a shield right there. Uh, we'll go ahead and open this one right here along the perforation. I guess it was actually part of that first one. Uh, then we have a little orange gun, a grappling gun of some sort. And then right here we have a semi-translucent Batman mask. Now, if you go back to uh, the part that had the action figure in it, you'll find that there is this little pamphlet. You open it up and uh, basically, well, there are the four uh, settings that you can get with each figure or play with each figure, I should say. Um, so that is pretty fun. They look neat. Um, but right here is where, you know, all the important information is located. So there's a picture of the figure. There's all the armored gear. And uh, there are some little symbols right there that uh, tell you what these accessories are. Uh, toxic neon, hydro translucent, stealth metal, titanium metallic. And then it's, there's a little key right here. So if it's purple, it's rare. If it's red, it's super rare. So uh, right here, each of these series that you see on the other side of this pamphlet are indicated right there. And these are the figures that are meant to complete that um, scene or that series, I suppose. So you can see the different figures there and uh, the accessories that they come with. Now, you're not always going to get the same accessories with these figures. Uh, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. It's kind of a mystery and, uh, you know, more of an incentive to buy more figures if you don't have some of these accessories or you want to get more accessories or whatnot. So if we go back to our little key here, it actually tells us like what accessories are rare. So like the, the Batman figure that I showed you guys, the gold one, he's rare. This is a super rare Robin because of those accessories that he comes with. And uh, right there, you can see Batman and Joker. And again, there's a little blue uh, square right there. So, or purple square means that it's rare, getting those accessories. And uh, some of these other accessories are uh, super rare. Like right there, that little mask right there. That is super rare. So it's a pretty interesting thing. Uh, they're incorporating the sort of 
blind box element into this toy line. And like I said, it gives you an incentive to pick up more of these figures should you chose to do so. Uh, and if you don't, I mean, it's just fun stuff to have that's included with the figure uh, just for the fun of it. So here's our Batman figure. As you can see, they stand at four inches tall. And uh, it does have exaggerated features. Like you can see that his arms are really ripped. His hands are pretty big. Uh, just proportionally speaking, he is a little bit, um, you know, he's a caricature. He is animated looking. Uh, there's a little slot there in the back and uh, the cape just attaches right here. Um, it looks a little weird. I, I kind of feel like capes should go all the way up. But, um, you know, I guess it gives you the idea of the cape and um, there's a little slot right there. So there is a hole in the cape so that you can use that slot. Um, so the paint on the figure is pretty good. Um, you do need to kind of watch out because if you look at these in stores, there's been a lot of paint slop that I've seen on the heads of the figures. So, um, you, you know, you might get some overspill. Uh, this one isn't actually too bad. There's a little bit of overspill under the nose, but it's not that bad. I actually selected the best one that I could find. Um, this particular costume is just like black. Like it's kind of a little glossier here in the torso than it is on the limbs. Uh, it's more flat around the limbs and on the head. The eyes are just white. And uh, he's got a bit of articulation to him. So you can see the boots right there looked a little bit like spiked or something. Very sporty. So here for the head, uh, you can move it back and forth. Here at the shoulders, you can pop these up. And they are kind of tight. Uh, the right one is, isn't too bad. And then uh, here at the elbows, you can slip it like that. You can twist it as well through that rotation. Nothing here at the waist, but he does do an excellent split. Then you can move those forward and you can twist them there at the thighs. Here at the knees, he does have a very nice bend. And you can also rotate the legs there at the knees. So. Um, very pretty basic. It's it's actually not too bad. It's better than just a, a static figure, but um, it, it's not the most articulated. It, it's sufficient, I think, for what they're trying to accomplish here. But um, yeah, it, it's pretty good. So this Batman came with uh, this little clear mask. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on there. I think that's a super rare accessory from what the the little key says right there that that came with the figure. I think it shows it down here, and it says that it is yeah super rare. So. There's that. Uh, he's also got this little, it's like a, an orange grappling gun of sorts. It's, it's really hard to get into his hands. So that is one thing that I will, I will complain about is that I've noticed this uh, with these figures that the hands are very hard to pose, yet they come with all these accessories. So, ouch. Uh, yeah, I mean, and you know, I'm a, I'm a grown person. So like a kid trying to get these in the hands not going to have the the easiest time doing that. So we also get this little blade thing and um, same thing. It attaches. It's kind of a weird accessory, but it, it just attaches like that. And then you can just slide it into Batman's hand, kind of, sort of like that. And now he's fully decked out, uh, ready to confront Joker, I, I guess. Speaking of Joker, let's go ahead and rip this guy out of the packaging as well. I'm probably not going to bore you guys with unboxing all of these, but um, just for comparison's sake, uh, I'll go ahead and do this one as well. So uh, there's Joker right there. There's a little pamphlet that the figures come with. Uh, I believe they're all the same pamphlet. I don't think there's anything different about them. Um, yeah, same exact thing uh, with all the figures. And then here on the other side, of course, you have your little your card is going to be attached. Oops, no spoilers, please. Uh, our card is going to be attached right here to the figure. And as you guys can see, I do everything the hard way. I think we lost something. <laughs> There's our card right there. I think I already had that card with um, that other figure I mentioned, the other Batman. All right, so that accessory just popped out. It's this little... It looks like a punching um, bazooka of some sort. You can see the, the glove right there. That's fun. Um, and here we have a little, what is that, like a robotic chicken? Yeah, it's like a little wind-up chicken, I, I guess. Weird. And then here at the bottom, we get a little purple gun. A little purple gun right there. Here is our Joker right here, looking um, 
like the Joker, I guess. And um, he doesn't look too bad. He looks, a little, I mean, very cartoonish. Like I said, there's a very caricaturized aesthetic about this toy line. And you definitely see that here with this figure. Um, but I mean, sculpting isn't too bad. He looks a little bit young. Um, he looks he looks like a kid, really. Uh, he's got his classic purple suit uh, with a green vest and a green um, bow tie and then an orange undershirt, little orange flower right there in his lapel and uh, white hands, black shoes. Um, not too bad. And articulation looks like it's going to be the same on um, these guys, these, uh, these other figures as well. This is actually a really tight joint right there. So yeah, you can bend that, swivel it. Um, both of the legs are going to go out, kind of. They twist when you push them out, but then he does a good joker split. And then you can rotate the thighs, and then you get those bends at both of the knees, and you can rotate there at the knees as well. So yeah, overall, fairly decent. And as you guys can see, he holds his accessories just fine. Uh, his arms or his hands are a little more flexible than Batman's are, and then we'll just put his little wind up animal thing right there next to him. All right, so I got King Shark over here and uh, we're gonna take a quick look and see what he's got. Um, he's got some gauntlets right there. Those look like Batman's gauntlets. So why does he come with them? I don't know. Uh, and then he's got some, he's got a gun. Very appropriately colored blue gun. Has a Batman logo on it though. So is it Batman's gun or I don't know. And he's got another blue gun without a Batman logo. So this might be his proper gun because this one does have the Batman logo right there. This is actually a pretty fun figure. Now the head does not move, but you, you do get all the other articulation that the other figures have. So uh, this one's a little bit beefier, obviously, and um, it's fun. I mean, this is just a wacky, like fun thing. Um, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Nothing at the knees either. So uh, we get a bigger figure, but we do get less joints with it. Um, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. All the figures seem to have that hole in the back. And yeah, this is just fun, you guys. Do you guys remember Maui and Sons? Are you old enough to remember that clothing line from the 90s? Because uh, I'm really feeling that here. And uh, by the way, the gauntlets don't fit, so I don't really know why he came with it. But, you know, they'll fit Batman. All right, so now we're going to see what Killer Croc comes with. And that's a, that's a pretty cool looking card, by the way. I like the art on that one. And uh, in the crate, we have a... Like a, a chain thing that's connected to a, a rock. Uh, right here we have a, another chain thing that's connected to a rock. And on bottom, oh, what is this? <gasps> Look at this. This is a city sewer or Gotham City sewer lid. That is actually pretty cool. And it looks like you took a bite out of it. What is kind of cool about the Gotham City sewer lid is that uh, it is sculpted with those holes in it so that you can orient Croc's fingers around the lid. I actually do appreciate that. Um, if you take it out, you can see that I have his little chain things right there. I guess they're supposed to weigh him down, but they can also serve as a weapon so you can like punch a lot. And uh, articulation is the same as on uh, the shark, but uh, you do have movement at the head, which you know we didn't on the shark. So that's kind of nice. He also looks like the Hulk, doesn't he? Like. He kind of looks like the Hulk to me. All right, so then I got Superman and there is the card art that he comes with right there. And here's the locker. You can see that this one actually has, you know, the S on it because it's Superman. Um, so we go ahead and press these in, open up the lockers and see what we got, see what we got. So first up we get this little red thing. Does this go over his head? Are those laser blasts that come out of his eyes? I think that's maybe what that is. Uh, and then this one right here, see it's a little green, it's like a blast effect or something. It looks like a blast effect. And then down here, let's see. Looks like we got a, uh, ooh, this is like a piece of chest armor that he has. Now the pamphlet with this one is a little bit different. You can see that the scenery is unique. Metropolis mayhem, alien attack central city clash and then coastline crisis and then here at the back um, you can see what these other figures these dc figures come with so you can see there's quite a few figures uh there's superman there's shazam there's a black suited superman there's the flash there's cyborg there is aquaman versus black manta um there's no wonder woman uh spin master what's going on why don't you have any women in this toy line that's a little infuriating to me 
Um, especially Wonder Woman. I mean, come on. I mean, she, she would be right at home in here in the set, uh, in this assortment. So yeah, a little frustrating. And then same thing. The key, as you can see, is basically the same thing. Rare and super rare. Tells you what the accessories are, whether or not they're rare or super rare. Um, so we do get this, this chest armor with the figure and that does have the little red square. So that is super rare. Um, this little thingy right there. And then, um, let's see, we got the, those little things that come with, um, for his, I guess it goes over his head. We'll find out. And then the little green effect too. So nothing uh, too rare other than that little, um, chest bit right there, I suppose. So the figure actually looks pretty good. Uh, it's just basically a Superman figure, and I do like the outfit quite a bit. Uh, I like the colors. They're very vibrant. The blue is perfect shade of blue. The red is perfect shade of red for Superman. The yellow looks good. Um, and I, I think it looks pretty decent. This is just like a regular human head, but, you know, cartoony. A little washed out here under the lighting, but, you know, it, it looks pretty good. All the joints seem like they're going to be about the same as with those other figures. So, uh, yeah, and then there's the cape. Cape looks good. And he does have that hole underneath, but no hole there on top. Maybe because of the S logo, I suppose. And then here he is fully decked out with his accessories. Admittedly, this looks very silly. Um, his chest armor's on there. The, the little lasers are coming out of his eyes. But it kind of looks like a headset. So that's a little weird. And then the, the green blast effect. Uh, maybe that's kryptonite? I don't know what it is. But uh, yeah, he holds it a little awkwardly too. It doesn't really... It doesn't look like I thought it was going to look. Um, but nonetheless pretty fun stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and get this set opened up and uh, we'll compare this King Shark to the other one. All right, so no mystery locker with this figure. It's basically just a uh, King Shark with his uh, armor. And um, let's compare it to the other Target exclusive single packed King Shark. And they're basically the same figure, but not exactly. Like it looks like just the head's different and to some extent, I think that might be the case, but the scar on this one, you can see the little X scar, it's not as pronounced on this one. So I don't know if that's just like a minor variation or if they're, I mean, they seem to be the same sculpt. So I'm gonna guess that it's just something with the paint, but the heads are certainly different. Um, this is like a great white shark. This is a hammerhead shark. Not really sure which one I like better. I think this one looks a lot meaner, um, but they're both fun. And like I said, street sharks. And then here's the armor part that the figure has. So um, this actually looks pretty cool, guys. It's it's pretty nicely detailed. It's got a very like sleek look to it. Um, yeah, that is uh, that is interesting. I like these uh, more glossy parts that it has here. Uh, this definitely looks like some high tech, like mean machine furry. Um, so to get it in here, we'll go ahead and plug that into the back of his back, <laughs> the back of his back. And we're gonna push in on that and ooh, Activated a little quicker than I wanted it to. Uh, and then here for the arm bits, um, you can actually, it looks like these are hinged. Uh, and then this right here is is also, it, it goes out and then it goes up right there at the blade portion. So uh, it doesn't seem like he holds onto these parts. They're just kind of there, but he can stand up while he's wearing it. Uh, you can see that it kind of goes down the same length of his body. So, you know, it's kind of got like a tail of sorts to kind of prop him up. And then it does have this button right there in the back. So you press it and it slams shut, uh, giving him like uh, armor, but he's not completely protected. His body is still mostly exposed. So there he is right there. Yeah. So I guess this bites the uh, person he's fighting and then he bites the person he's fighting, like double damage, double bites. Uh, either way, uh, don't mess with King Shark. This looks pretty severe. And these, um, you can just kind of grab them back here and go like that. Those little tabs right there. So that is pretty fun stuff. I like this. Uh, All right, guys. So now let's go and take a look at the Batmobile. I'm going to take a minute to get it unboxed, and then we'll take a closer look at it. All right, you guys. So here is the Batmobile out of the box, fully assembled. And um, it's an interesting design for sure. It's a little bit different than Batmobiles that we've seen. Uh, in terms of what we've gotten with toys over the years, whether it be Mattel or Hasbro or, uh, you know, if you want to go back to Kenner and uh, Toy Biz and such. So um, it's interesting. It's different. And I think different is good in a lot of cases. Uh, and it still contains that bat motif. It still retains it. So you still see that, like the bat shape right there. 
um, looks pretty decent and also here in the cockpit and then uh, these kind of look like ears those two spokes right there at the back so that looks pretty good uh, for the most part I think it looks okay um, it's not my favorite design but like I said it's different it's it's unique and um, I, I think that's a good thing in this case now I will say that it's only $20 which is a great price um, but it's also pretty light I mean there's a little bit of heft to it but then when you look at it a little more closely you can see how like the plastic has like all that smudging in it that's just from the mold that's just from you know the way that it's cast in this plastic um, so it's not really painted too much there's a little bit of detailing here not a ton though not a ton uh, and then the wheels themselves you can see are hollow like they're just like cutouts on the back sides of them uh, and it's the same for back here now at least there is a little bit of detailing on the bottom um, it, it's nothing special but it looks okay and then uh, you do have the cockpit right here so this does open uh, you just pull that up like that and then you can grab your Batman figure and this is the one I told you guys I already had purchased previously so it's just the gray suited Batman we'll take his accessories uh, away from him and then we'll orient him so that we can get him inside his car. Ah, oh, this shoulder joint is ridiculously tight. All right. Uh, all the joints on this figure are pretty tight, some of them. Okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and stick him in there. We'll be careful not to crease up his cape too much. And then you can see that he sits very comfortably in there. Uh, you kind of got to finagle this a little bit to get it down. And uh, boom. Batman is in his Batmobile and to launch it I thought there was going to be like a button here to to launch the secondary vehicle there's actually not unfortunately and you do have to lift up on the top of the cockpit to get him out this is where your flame would be blowing out by the way um, so you just pull it and it comes out like that so that's how you launch the Batmobile you just pull it uh, button would have been awesome but it is what it is I guess so just give you a closer look at this secondary escape vehicle or escape pod, whatever you want to call it. And it basically has the same overall aesthetic that the Batmobile itself does. There's like a little low windshield there. It's got that same like bat head there and the same sort of ear thing and then some wings right there. So um, it has wheels. So I don't know if it's just supposed to be like a car, like they do spin or if it's supposed to float in the bathtub or if it's supposed to be like a plane. I guess it could be whatever you want, um, but the overall aesthetic of it is very similar to the Batmobile itself. So uh, that's what it looks like in there, just hollow. And then you slide that in there in place. You want to see that again. You just pull it out and the wings uh, just flap out like that. So overall, it's not too bad. Um, I think for the $20 price point, it's not too bad. I'm, I'm happy with it overall. I don't think it's the fanciest thing in the world. There's obviously way better Batmobiles you can get from the past 30 plus years, um, especially the higher end ones. But yeah, if, if for something to uh, work with this new four inch line from Spin Master, I think they did a pretty good job. I'm, I'm pretty, I, I think it's admirable. It's an admirable effort and definitely works with these figures and um, everything that they're trying to accomplish with this toy line, which is playability, uh, lower prices, and uh, quite a diverse offering. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This has been our comprehensive and detailed look at the Spin Master new for 2020 DC line of Batman figures. Now, these aren't all the figures you can get. There's quite a bit more available. There's tons of figures. There's more versions of Batman. Uh, there's Robin. There's a Man Bat. There's a, there's a bike set that comes with Batman in a bike. And uh, I think Clayface, I mean, there's so many figures that you can get as part of this line. And I think that's one of the coolest things about this line is they're not slowly building it up. They launched it with a bang. And, and I got to commend Spin Master for that, you know, just kind of hit the ground running with all these various characters and figures and vehicles and multi-packs in order to build up your Batman collection just like that. This is good stuff. Not the fanciest toys by any means. If you're an adult collector, maybe you, you're not really going to be into this stuff. But if you're like me, uh, you know, a child of the 90s who grew up with, you know, playability and interactivity across the board uh, from different toy lines, uh, I think you're really going to appreciate it. It does kind of hit me a little bit in the nostalgic because 
you know, if you're a kid growing up these days and you like Batman, then this would be a perfect toy line for them to get into because I think that, you know, you have all these characters, uh, you have things like, you know, different versions of the same characters in some cases, and uh, the Batmobile itself is pretty fun. For $20, it's really not too bad. I'm pretty pleased with everything about this line. And like I said, the mystery aspect of, you know, the different accessories that you can potentially get with each of these figures, um, you, know, you know, just increases the fun factor. So I think that's hugely important. Uh, these toys are great. They're fun. They're inexpensive. And while they're not the fanciest things in the world, they're fun. And I think that Spin Master has certainly accomplished their goal by creating an expansive DC and Batman oriented toy line that is very well integrated and very reminiscent of the toy lines of the past because we don't really see a whole lot of that these days. So I'm going to rate the new Spin Master Batman toy line uh, an eight just collectively uh, from what we have looked at here. All right, my friends, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, like, subscribe, support Victoria's Cantina and all we do. We have a merchandise line. Check it out down below. Be sure you're subscribed to the Cantina Chatter Podcast. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to Victoria's Cantina. Until next time, bye-bye.